Hey guys, we're down in the beautiful Mount Monganui today, um, making a small upgrade to a, a control system we've got here at a bulk storage facility. Um, I thought we'd show you a little bit what we're doing here with the EtherCAT redundant network. Uh, two PLCs for this system, a process PLC, Gecot CX5130, and another one here doing the safety. Both of these are on their own um, EtherCAT redundant network. So what we've got here is, come in a bit closer, um, We've got some, some I.O. mainly talking out through to some existing Alan Bradley uh, drives over Ethernet IP. But our Ethernet loop, Ethernet redundant loop starts here, it comes up, goes out here into a copper to fibre loop, and then it branches out. And we've got the same thing down here in the safety loop, where we've got a mixture of safe and non-safe I.O. Um, coming out onto the EtherCAT network, out onto fibre, and we'll go out into the field and have a look. So follow me. Uh, MSC flow transmitters here and some pumps that we're okay. on the process PLC. If you come in a little bit closer here, what we've got is we've got the fiber coming straight into our um, our remote node, and then it comes the EtherCAT backplane comes through. We've got some um, standard I/O, and then we move into the intrinsically safe um, series mixture of um, analog and heart signals coming through here. Then we've got another Ethernet IP card that goes off to the switch and from that switch we talk to those uh, flow transmitters we passed just before. Um, yeah so the reason for all the intrinsic safety is we've got some um, hazardous um, storage in this area so we're using a um, intrinsically safe tablet to record this. Um, the same thing and this is on the safety network so if you come in here fiber in a mixture of um, standard and safety I.O. Um, and then back fibre out. So some of us standard I.O. is coming through these um, I.S. barriers for intrinsic safety and up through the surges. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll go follow this loop around. So again, all looks very similar. Fibre in, straight through the back plane, mixture of uh, the twin safe I.O. Um, intrinsically safe um, inputs and then again in this case we've actually got an EtherCAT uh, branch to our redundant loop in this case so this doesn't have redundancy on this one it goes out to another field panel but it carries on so while we've got the redundant loop we've also got a branch off it we're back out here on fibre again around here we've got our fire response panel um, and inside here Again, same thing, getting a bit boring now, but fibre in, through the back plane, fibre out. And the whole point of this redundant network is that any single break in the um, EtherCAT ring, you've still got communication to all your devices. So come back around this way. Here we're coming over here, we've got another rack of um, standard I.O. Come in, out, back over here. And over here we've got um, daisy chain and cross drives still on the EtherCAT loop, in and out, in and out, back in here and back to our PLC. So what I wanted to show you here is why do we do this? We have uh, a loop here from this point right the way through back here, all on the one um, EtherCAT redundant loop. What this means is that if we have a break at any point, you can see these are all healthy. Now if I come up here, and I pull this network cable out, okay, what we then see on the loop, if you can zoom in, we've got a break in the loop there, but everything is still green and healthy, so it's talking back around the other network loop. And if we come back, we restore the network, it's all healthy again, and the process hasn't missed a beat. And that's all from us today.